anxiety management, live a case study. A policeman gave me a ticket for not binding my seatbelt. Story. I got out of the slope, and from behind a police officer knocks on the window. He says, can I have your license? A chill came in my low spine that is a family phenomenon on when I face novel awkward situations. I knew what it was about because I knew I had done nothing wrong in this usual route of mine. So I quickly got hold of my belt, but it was too little too late. I slid open the window and handed over my license. The police officer started to fill the ticket. I interrupted him, telling him that the license was old one because the new one was not yet issued and so I showed him my bill for the, from the tax office. He then asked for my blue book. I obliged, gave it and got the license back. Finally, the yellow ticket was in my hand. I asked when and where I could get my blue book, how much to pay. He said on uh, two days after uh, because tomorrow is Saturday and its amount is rupees 500. I would have negotiated my way out in other situation, but this one was a no-brainer to me. I was doomed to get a ticket today by this police officer who must have eyed me from atop the slope. My anxiety. I felt anxious. It was both at the mental level as well as the emotional level. I was flushed with sour type of chemicals, which I will call cortisol for the easiest nomenclature. Also, I had missed my nap today and I was feeling really groggy. So, any slightest thought travels in an aggressive tangent in this moment. Add many such thoughts and you get anxiety over a petty matter of just rupees 500. But it is more than the money, so my mind argued this way. It is about inconvenience. Managing my anxiety. Now I had a problem to solve, so I planned. My objective was to put this ticket matter behind amicably with my mind and emotions and forget the matter until Sunday morning. To that end, I had to organize my thoughts and emotions. Emotions, first take long breaths and close my eyes and rest a minute. Thoughts, list the thoughts and counter them. The test whether in my inner leadership and organizing worked will be I feel great and cool and can smile genuinely. Thoughts, I can't get it tomorrow, need to wait till Sunday early. What if the police loses it? What if there is a curfew as my wife said? Counter arguments. I can't get it tomorrow, need to wait till Sunday early. Is that bad? No. What if the police loses it? It is highly unprovable. It will just take longer to find. What if there is a curfew as my wife said? Again, if it did occur, it won't be next week. And even if it is on Sunday, I'll go when it is over. Emotions of anger. Why me? Why today? Why on a Friday? Only if I hadn't. Why did I have to tell about the license till I still have something more valuable blue book? Countering the anger. Why me? Because I've been breaking the rules since long. Why today? Because cops are free today. Why on a Friday? Bad luck. Only if I had it, I could have got a ticket in another case. Why did I have to tell about the license I still have a more valuable blue book? Trying to avoid more problem. Conclusion. Doesn't help if I miss my afternoon nap. I felt drowsy. Yes, but I'll get to sleep. So, I'll have to spend one day waiting. It's not the end of the world. True, I was living with zero worries, now one worry. True, it could have been less if I had given my license, but I still have to go. There is always a reason for such things. I could have been given a ticket for parking in the roads as many cars were today. I can empathize with others. Anxiety managed. I feel calm, I'm able to see, smile and laugh at myself.